Hello, this is Geezer Al. Welcome back to another episode of Age of Oblivion mod for Seven Days to Die. Yeah, you know, this uh, Elite Trader number six, the universe did not want this episode to <laughs> come to fruition. I guess that's all I could say. I literally had so many noobish mistakes, I couldn't believe it. Um, for example, the very first playthrough, I, you know, I play in debug mode so I can do that control click to teleport all over the map. Well, somehow I hit this button that started me in like POI edit mode. And I've done that before you see in my channel, there's a tutorial on how to place a POI in the map, but it's been a while and I couldn't remember what key combination to use to clear placing blocks. And so I had this, um, situation where it was trying to like place a block in the map and so i couldn't crouch and so i well let's just play through and i was i mean i was halfway through the level and so i i was using shift q i think is the teleport keystroke that it moves you ahead a few blocks and so that way i could get through the um hatch doors because you have to crouch to get through each door and there's a bazillion hatches in this POI, right? Anyways, while I was doing that, I got down to the last level and when I started fighting the skeletons, because I was in God mode or the pseudo God mode, they pushed me and glitched me through the map. And so I fell out of the map. <laughs> and so that was the first time. The second time, I was again halfway through and you get to this level well there's spiders all over but this one particular level the spiders came out and gave me this debuff and i did a short on it because i could not heal i had bandages i had first aid kits and nothing worked and so i died that was the second playthrough and then it's just a jumble of failed attempts and so this was my fifth playthrough i wanted to make sure i didn't accidentally get into that weird block placement thing and I didn't want to actually get into God mode and so I was doing everything I could just to get a clean playthrough and then I lost the first half of my footage so I played like two and a half hours and I, I had it chunked into like an hour 20 for the first one and an hour whatever for the second one and I went to clean up some files on disk just to save disk space because I'm low on my my SSD and I deleted the first hour of footage. It's like, oh my God. Anyway, so that's why I'm recording this intro because we pick up, you know, about halfway through and that's why it's just a weird cut. But anyways, here it is. Enjoy. Oh, wait, dun, dun, dun. I wanted to try this, the potion of invisibility. All right, so let's see what happens. Is it truly invisible? Seems like. Okay, so we need ladders going this way. All right, that worked. Just wasted a lot of. See this? This is my. What? I thought you were dead. Yeah, it brings you here. 
So you come down those little staircases over there, fight them all the way through here, come over here. you here take the ladders down okay takes you to the room where we got the orb already um, one down there so we need to go up we're missing the level at the very top yeah see where that guy is Yeah. All right, we're putting down some ladders. Yeah, so that's the room where you come down the third hatch on the right, you get attacked by spiders, you come in here. I forgot there was an orb in here. I'm glad I came back up. Yep, that's where we need to go, right there. Okay, I think we, yeah, we cleared everybody here because we came down this way, right? Thing I checked. I think this might be the upstairs location that I was talking about. Okay, so this is where we were earlier, right? So we cleared out all that down below.
Yeah, there you go. Okay, there's a couple of spiders left, but we got all of the orbs, right, from down below. Yep, we sure did. Okay, so we've been up there, came down here, Yeah, did all this. And there's no back way out of there. It's just safes and loot. All right, let's just go down. I know there's only four at the bottom level. Okay, so there's one with the doors that we did. Oh, that's my guy. Cool, where'd you come from, buddy? Uh, let's get some more out. Here we go. I'm wasting time here. Yeah, it's not the bottom level. Okay, we're going to need some uh, firepower here. Uh, nope, we need this. Yep, here you go. There's one. There's two. And now we need the switch, which is right here. Oh, and we can't close it, huh? No, but we can do this. No, get me the door. I thought I had them on my bar. Where are they? Nice, okay. See this? This is my boot! 
Uh, hello? Alright, looks like we're gonna have to kill some bosses. Jump, jump, what is going on here, man? My Let's get my guys back here. We are doing another invisibility potion.
I think this is where I wanted to put some stuff down. Oh, that's what it is. The crocodiles broke down the wall. All right, let's go. <laughs> so now, did it credit me? Yes! Nice! <laughs>
I did it <laughs> without having to go into God mode. Yes, so you saw at the last, I just booked it through there. I did not want to stop to fight those bazillion hordes of death skeletons for a fifth time. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so putting up those steel bars really didn't do anything, did it? Um, yeah. Anyways, I thought I'd try it. Also, the invisibility potion, bogus. They can still see you. Um, but I'm done. <laughs> oh, now to move on to the next one, level seven. This was level six, um, or trader number six. So trader number seven, the skeleton king. I can't even imagine what that's going to be like. Um, but it's done after five tries. Yeah. All right. I'm going to edit this down. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what's going to remain in there. But uh, thanks for watching. This is Geezer Al signing off. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.